Hey everyone, welcome back. Um, I'm going to be um, basically designing the cover for the April page of my Hobonichi uh, Teko. This is um, the 2023 Spring Edition and um, it is a little different than the 2022. The 2022 had a little um, thing up here that was basically a poem or haiku like about um, that kind of translated to the season where this one has something on the bottom that I already pre-translated with Google um, Translate. So this little thing here, um, Google Translate kept trying to say it said New Year's Eve, but I think it actually is supposed to say something like this time of the year or new things for the season or something along those lines because it says it on every single page. And I just think that New Year's Eve seems to be incorrect, especially if I like start like erasing characters from either side that changes the translation. Um, the other couple of things, um, kind of going off of that, are different things that are kind of tips or what's in season for um, this time of year. So like I said, I already Priya uh, translated it. My handwriting when I take notes is absolutely atrocious. So I'm gonna, I have a pencil board because I think I'm just gonna use the lines from um, the other page to make it neat. Um, so the first one is saying what's in season so that in April it's bamboo shoots, lettuce, Japanese mackerel, and fresh tea is starting to um, come out so that's starting to grow um a time when the weather is changeable beware of temperature differences and hay fever um that is absolutely accurate and then it kind of has some other tips on what to wear wear short sleeves pair of parasol and sunscreen and clean the air conditioning during this period which again <laughs> those are really good tips because uh you don't want to like have to clean your air conditioner out when it's um you're trying to use it in like july so um, I am going to basically write those in English and then decorate the page with some stickers. I also um, want to write down my goals for this um, time of year. And what I'm going to do is, let's see, here is the bucket list. Um, I'm going to pick five things from this bucket list, but instead of uh, selecting them myself, I'm actually going to uh-oh, do it randomized. So, of course I dropped uh, one of the ones I needed, so let me just uh, pick that up. So what we're going to do in order to select uh, the five goals for April is I'm going to take... these two uh d10s i believe yeah d10s so this one has all of the double digit numbers like 10 9 something zero and then um this other one of the single digit i'm gonna roll it and then whatever it lands on the five is going to be what the goals are so ooh, let's just uh do this Okay, so 80 and 0, so that would be just plain 80, I guess, which is find 25, oh, I'm on focus, find 25 geocaches. So, um, that's for, like, the total that I find for the year. So, it seems a little silly to do 25 before 10. <laughs> I'm cheating, I know. So, I'm just going to do 79 instead, just because um, that just makes more sense to me. So, I have to find uh, 10 total. Interesting. Or maybe I could just like, say, like, find a geocache. I don't know. 43 is um, do five lessons of Duolingo German. Okay. I can definitely do that. Next is, what is this, a 60? 60, 0, oops, I just think it was on 0. And that is going to be, oh, I can't do that in the month. 
That would be unhealthy. 30 zero. You go to the library. That is a okay with me. Okay. 43. Didn't I just have that one? Yes, I did. That's a four. That's a 30. 34 is try all the Bulldog flavors of ramen. Um, that is very doable. I can definitely make an order from H Mart and uh, try some flavors I have not tried yet. So far I've had carbonara cheese. Um, corn. I can't remember if I had original or double spice, but I think I may have had double spice. <laughs> um, so that leaves like original. I'll probably try double spice again. Um, original double spice. I think there's a lime flavor, a curry flavor. I'm gonna look it up later. <laughs> and then that's a seven. That's an eight. So eighty-seven is develop Minolta film. Okay, so I have a film role in my um, SLR, <laughs> which is Minolta brand. So that is going to be, um, I, I have to finish up that role and get it developed. So that should be fun. Um, is that what you call a camera? It's not a point and shoot. It has interrelational lenses and it's, yeah, I think it's an SLR. <laughs> So I um those are the five things I'm gonna try to do this month um or next month I should say I don't it's still March um uh, when I'm doing this and yeah that should be fun is this <laughs> I'm sorry for the really funky angle here um uh, my tripod kind of broke and I need to get a new one so um this kind of looks bad but I'm sorry this is this is the best I can do right now. So let's just uh, do the tips for April, I guess, right in the center. to-do list in a different color and I'm using the pen holder as a tripod so huh, what color should I use the light pink is definitely too light so I think I'll use this yeah that, that should look cute and these are um 
just brush tip markers that came in the set that I bought um, years upon years ago from AC Moore, which was a craft store that is no longer, unfortunately, like RIP. Oh, we missed. Okay. So I guess I should... I already forgot what number went to what to do. Um, so let's just write all of them in order. I recently did develop um, film that I had in a different camera. It was like an Olga. So it was um, like more of a toy camera. And I really hated the results. I was like, this is bad. Like, um, they're really blurry, which I guess was my fault for um, using a toy camera. But I don't know. I just, um, oh, I should have wrote go to library. I'm making all sorts of mistakes. Um, I don't know. I really, maybe I should have just stuck with like a film. But I, I just, I don't know, I thought like, oh, I, I always see like Lomo kind of photography and I always think it looks cool and then when I actually try it, I'm just like, ah, this isn't, this isn't um very good. But that could also just be me. Maybe I'm bad at photography. I did take a photography, like a film photography class in college as well. And um, I really uh, struggled with contrast. It was um, because we had to use black and white film um, because that was like part of the grading requirements. Um, and I, I personally, um, as a preference, I do kind of prefer color photos to um, black and white. But I can totally see how like from a grading standpoint, black and white would definitely be easier to judge um, because like color is so... Um, varied. Now I was gonna put... Oh, I'm using stickers from the Animal Crossing official sticker book. I was gonna put a horse mackerel um sticker because mackerel's in season, but I was looking it up and I don't think horse mackerel and normal mackerel are actually the same um thing. I think they're actually uh, two different, like the Japanese horse mackerel and the Japanese mackerel are two different um species of mackerel. Phone, please focus. I I have no idea. I don't think that's in focus at all. I'm just gonna put that right there though. <laughs> and then um the other thing is, as I said in my um, previous video about my planner, my birthday is in fact in April. So I do want to put a little cake sticker and I was debating whether I wanted to use uh, this one with the cat, but I think I'm going to save that for the daily page for my actual birthday and instead to use a little um cupcake i'm just gonna put that right next to the april mark so this is the page so far i think we need something right here which would have been perfect for washi tape but i'm not really like liking any of my washi tapes at the moment to put there so um there is these lines which could be kind of fun especially like this pink one but it's a little too thick i believe that's if I put it right here, but I'm not sure. Or I could, let's see. I could put one of these like little stickers here. I could do for do bows or um, <laughs> this little cake one. Let's see what matches the Animal Crossing one. Oh. Um, now that I'm thinking about this, I definitely want to add the cherry blossom tree. And I'm going to add that right here. Yeah, I like that. And then I'm going to add, oh, there's, there's uh, more borders on this side. 
like ribbons and stuff. I don't really like any of those. I think I'm gonna add that look good. I don't know why. Yeah, I kind of like that. I don't know. But I kind of want something a little bit cohesive to, uh, let's, let's look again. Does this go? I guess there is a little bit of green here that I need to tie it all together. If I put this right, oop, like right here. Sure, it's already stuck. So I might as well accept that. Oh, I should have cut it a little bit more. That's the worst possible way I could have done that. Um. Yeah, so I think that looks cute. And then what if I just also, where is the, yeah, yeah, I'm liking that, I'm liking that, and I wasn't very straight, but you know what, it will do. Um, oh, but now I feel like I need to add something, like, right here to make it less, like, square. Or do I? You know what? No, I think this is done. This this looks cute to me. Um, I don't know. What do you guys think? Um, anyway, I think this is the... The April page, um... that right there for now and um I should also put at least one thing there so I can come back to it but uh this is the April page um I did not do my monthly page yet which I still need to do and I think for this I am just going to um keep it more practical. I'll write the goals to the side and then put in all of my dates and stuff here. Um, I'm not going to do that in this video because I think, um, again, every time I make a video like this, it al I always think like, oh, it'll only be like five minutes and I'm at minute 15. So I think, um, we're actually going to be done for now. Um, I was going to put this in a different vlog video, but I think instead it's a standalone video. Um, wow, I am really uh, surprising myself with the amount of content I can make. Um, anyway, let me know in the comments what you think. If you have any um, good like video or even like um, normal camera suggestions, um, that are good for video. Preferably, I already have a mirrorless as well as a couple different film cameras, so I'm kind of looking more for if I do, um, get a new camera. Um, I'd want something that is, um, more like a point and shoot, but if you have any suggestions, I guess also put those in the comments, and I will not see you next time because I don't actually see anyone on YouTube. Anyway, peace out. Goodbye. Um, <laughs> we're done here. Leave.